The latest twist in the Bloodline saga saw Jimmy Uso betray his twin brother at SummerSlam. Jey Uso was on the verge of defeating Roman Reigns in the main event of Saturday's pay-per-view, but Jimmy interfered to cost Jey the match. As Jey was pinning Roman, Jimmy pulled Jey out of the ring. Jimmy rocked Jey with a super kick and then threw him back in, which allowed Roman Reigns to spear Jey through a table and retain the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Reigns versus Jay was billed as tribal combat. There were no disqualifications in the match. Reigns' undisputed WWE Universal Championship and his title of Tribal Chief were both on the line. Solo Sokoa helped Reigns throughout the match until Jay finally took him out with a splash through the announced table. Jay then speared Reigns and hit a splash from the top rope. He seemed to have the match won, but that's when Jimmy interfered. This was Jimmy's first appearance on WWE programming since he was stretchered out following an attack by Reigns and Sokoa on the July 7th episode of SmackDown. In a storyline injury update after the attack, WWE stated that Jimmy had suffered ruptured rib cartilage. An explanation for why Jimmy turned against Jay has yet to be given. Additionally, Io Sky wins the WWE Women's Championship. Bianca Belair won the WWE Women's Championship at SummerSlam, but her title reign was short-lived. Two WWE Women's Championship changes took place on the show. First, Bianca defeated Asuka and Charlotte Flair in a triple threat match to win the title. But just moments later, Io Sky cashed in her Money in the Bank briefcase on Bel Air to become champion. The story of the triple threat match revolved around Bianca Belair overcoming a knee injury. After briefly being taken out of the match, Bianca limped back to the ring. When Charlotte had Bianca in the figure eight, Asuka spit mist into Charlotte's face. Asuka then went to kick Bianca, but Bianca cradled her to get the win. Io Sky's music hit and she and Bailey ran out with the Money in the Bank briefcase. They attacked Charlotte, Asuka, and Bianca with the case. Io Sky struck Bianca in the knee with the briefcase before cashing in. Once the bell rang, Io Sky hit a moonsault from the top rope and pinned her. Dakota Kai, who underwent surgery in May for a torn ACL, joined her damage control stablemates in the ring to celebrate Sky's victory. Io Sky's title win comes only one year after damage control formed at SummerSlam 2022. Asuka was the WWE Women's Champion entering SummerSlam. She had defeated Bianca to become champion back in May. One of WWE's hottest acts picked up a signature victory on Saturday night. LA Knight won the 25-man SummerSlam Battle Royal by last eliminating Sheamus. The final four wrestlers in the Battle Royal were LA Knight, Sheamus, AJ Styles, and Bronson Reed. LA Knight was able to find enough strength to eliminate Bronson over the top rope. AJ Styles was then eliminated following a bro kick from Sheamus. With Sheamus on the top turnbuckle, LA Knight hit a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Knight then clotheslined Sheamus over the top rope to win the match. This is the 40-year-old Knight's first time winning a WWE main roster pay-per-view match. He's gained momentum in recent months with the fans getting behind him and chanting his catchphrases wherever WWE goes. Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar's rivalry ended with a show of good sportsmanship. The feud between the two has finally come to an end with Cody Rhodes defeating Brock. After his loss, Brock Lesnar went face to face with Cody Rhodes. Lesnar then extended his hand for a handshake. The two shook hands with Brock hugging Cody and Brock raising Cody's arm in the air. In the actual match, Lesnar beat down Rhodes throughout most of it, including giving Cody an F5 through the announce table. Cody fought back and pins Lesnar after hitting three consecutive crossroads. Rhodes also sent Lesnar into an exposed turnbuckle and applied a Kimura on Lesnar during his comeback. And following the premium live event, WWE star along with Chief Creative Officer Paul Triple H Levesque took questions from the media following the show. Here are some of the highlights you should know about. Kicking things off with Cody Rhodes. When asked about the moment he shared with Brock Lesnar after their match, he said that it hadn't dawned on him what it means yet. He called it a bond by battle. He said that Brock Lesnar was a once in a lifetime individual. When asked what his next plans were, Cody replied, 
everyone in the room knows what my plans are. He said he needs to get back to where he was so he can finish the story. Moving on, when asked if she was back, Dakota Kai said that she was a ways away from being in ring cleared, but wanted to be here for EO Sky. She mentioned that she's squatting heavily in her training. On to LA Knight. When asked if tonight was a long time coming, Knight replied that in a weird way, this has been an amazingly fast climb. He said he always knew that he had something to give, says he'll strap the rocket to himself. And following the events that unfolded with the bloodline, when asked what innings we are in, Paul Heyman said that they are at the bottom of the third and the storyline hadn't even hit its stride yet. He said that it was the bloodline storyline that has caused WWE's business to boom. As for Paul Triple H. Levesque, here are some notes from what he had to say. He said that the Cody Brock Lesnar handshake and hug after the match was not a planned part of the show. Triple H mentioned that there were rumors about matches being cut from SummerSlam. He said that nothing was cut and if you don't have more stuff than you need, you failed. He said that sometimes there is too much stuff going on and SummerSlam was already plenty long as is. Brandon Thurston asked about Vince McMahon's recovery from surgery and his current creative involvement. Triple H said he didn't know Vince McMahon's recovery as he's not a doctor. Regarding Vince's creative involvement, Triple H said Vince's vision changed the business and that there is no greater mind in the business. He said that if Vince hadn't come along, wrestling might have disappeared, bringing up roller derby from when he was a kid as a form of entertainment that is no longer around. He said that Vince McMahon isn't involved day to day regarding creative and that he has earned that right. And in other news, Kyrie is headed back to WWE. PW Insider reported on Sunday that Kyrie is set to return to the company. Dave Meltzer confirmed the news on Wrestling Observer Radio, saying, maybe November. She's got two more dates in Japan. I think she is scheduled for. She's coming back. Kyrie, who wrestled as Kyrie Sane in WWE from 2017 to 2020, left the United States in July of 2020 and worked as an ambassador for the company during the COVID-19 pandemic. She officially left WWE in December of 2021 after her contract expired. In the last year, Kyrie has wrestled for both Stardom and New Japan Pro Wrestling. She became the first IWGP Women's Champion in November of last year. At New Japan Pro Wrestling's Battle in the Valley event in February of this year, Mercedes Monet defeated Kyrie to win the said championship. And that's a wrap for this episode of the latest. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online for more videos just like this one and plenty more.